Now to a News 12 special report. Not many people get the chance to see a solar eclipse from the air, but our chief meteorologist convinced a major airline to alter the path of one of its regularly scheduled flights to give passengers and crew a chance to experience an incredible celestial sight. Here's Joe Rayo's remarkable story into the eclipse. Oh my God, look at it. Here comes the shadow, look at that. It's like a tornado. Oh my God, here we go. Exclamations of wonder from a person witnessing a sight oh that few people in their lifetime ever get a chance to see. This is the shadow of the moon streaking silently over the Pacific Ocean at 7,000 miles per hour, about to rendezvous with a commercial jet aircraft just prior to the start of the most awe-inspiring sight the heavens can offer, a total eclipse of the sun. Totality! Totality! But it was the circumstances of how this flight came about that garnered national attention. We are about to embark on a trip that a lot of people are calling historic here. Now, a second ago, I spoke to the man who actually did this whole process. A year ago, Joe Rayo noticed that this path of the eclipse was going to cross between Hawaii and Alaska, and he contacted Alaska Air to make this special flight happen. And that's how, in the dead of winter, I found myself heading to Ted Stevens International Airport in beautiful Anchorage, Alaska, on a day where the Alaskan mountains sparkle and plane tickets promised Hawaii. Waiting for me at the gate was Captain Hal Anderson of Alaska Airlines, who was going to pilot our journey into darkness. It's a rare privilege to see a total eclipse, particularly from 37,000 feet. I think Alaska Airlines should be congratulated because most other airlines just give you a, an in-flight movie. We're going to go one better than that, much better than that. We're going to give you a chance to see something you may never see again, a total solar eclipse. That's the promise I made to all the passengers as we boarded a Pac-737 jet en route to Honolulu, where the in-flight entertainment began with a pair of Eclipse safety glasses. And soon, everyone on board began to get into place for the big show in the sky. The dark silhouette of the moon was about to begin crossing directly in front of the disk of the sun. First, just a small bite cutting into the bottom of the sun. And as the minutes ticked off, that bite became progressively larger and larger and larger still, cutting the sun down to a narrow crescent. In the final moments before totality, just like curtain time before a Broadway play, the light rapidly dimmed. Then, 700 miles north of Honolulu, the main event, sun, moon, plane, perfectly aligning for a perfect moment. Perfect timing, perfect timing, once in a lifetime view. Time just stopped. The eclipse was frozen above us, like a phenomenal photograph pasted on the dome of the sky. The incredible corona, the crown of the sun, was now in full view. Study of this solar atmosphere is one of the main scientific benefits from an eclipse. More is being learned about the corona all the time. Some believe it may have an effect on the Earth's weather. But time was not standing still. After just 113 seconds, the moon's movement brought forth a second sunrise, ending the late afternoon darkness that had stretched across the horizon. And the passengers were still in awe. You could see that thing coming at you, you know, both sides of it, like a blanket being thrown toward your face. I have never seen one before and it was spectacular, especially when the, the moon was totally over the sun. Spectacular and eerie at the same time. Most on board soon came to realize that for them, such an amazing sight may never come again. Proving that age-old saying is true. Why worry about your destination when the journey looks like this? Joe Rayo, News 12, airborne above the North Pacific. I love it. Flight of a lifetime. And all those people are never going to forget that flight and that you made that happen. But here's a date that all of you will come to know next year. Monday, August 21st, 2017, the first time in 99 years that finger of darkness gonna is going to go coast to coast yeah. across the United States. Happen and it's going to be a big, big story. If you've never seen a total eclipse and want a chance to see one, that will be your chance to see one next year and of course we'll tell our viewers Mark more, more about it. Mark your calendars now. Yes. All right. So more immediate 
Let's talk about the forecast for the weekend. Let's talk about the forecast for the weekend. It, it, it's a very easy forecast because the day that we had today is going to be replicated on Saturday, a day of clouds and sun, maybe a pop-up shower here and there, temperatures well into the 80s, along with moderate levels of humidity. A better chance for showers and storms on Sunday as a cold front approaches our area, slices through our area late Sunday night or early Monday morning, and behind it, here comes relief, the first real relief we've had around here in many, many moons. No pun intended, considering the story you just saw. Anyway, we have this weather front approaching, much cooler Canadian air behind it. It'll shove all of this humidity that we've been dealing with for the past couple of weeks out to sea, and we're looking for a much nicer period of weather for next week. How many of you have next week off? If you do, you hit pay dirt. It's going to be a great weather week. 63, partly cloudy to clear overnight with moonlit skies for Saturday. Just like it was today, sun, clouds, maybe a pop of shower and humid, 86, seven day outlook. What more can I tell you? Next week, it's gonna be a great week weather-wise. And in fact, I even think Tuesday will be the pick of the week. You're watching News 12 and News12.com.